Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I am Komal Kavar Shekhawat and I hope you all are doing great and keeping safe. So I create videos on how to do econometric and data analysis using various software like eViews, SPSS, Data and R. So if you are new to my channel, please click on the subscribe button and keep following. So in this video, I will explain the generalized method of movement. So, suppose you have a regression model and you want to estimate the parameters or regression coefficient beta, so you can also employ the generalized method of movement. So, GMM is one of the methods used for estimating the parameters in econometric or statistical models. GMM generalizes the method of movement by allowing the number of movement conditions to be greater than the number of parameters. So the extra movement condition makes GMM more efficient, right? So if movement conditions are more than parameters, the estimator is over-identified and GMM can efficiently combine the movement conditions when the estimator is over-identified. So hence, GMM is an advancement over method of movement and it can be used to estimate the parameters or regression coefficient. Okay. And it is also a combination of ordinary least square and two stage OLS. Okay. Now the question is why GMM is used? So, first of all, it is a dynamic panel data estimator. Okay. So, if you want to estimate the parameters of the panel data, you can use GMM. The second reason is if you are not sure regarding the distribution of the dependent variable, then also you can use GMM. Third is, employing GMM model controls for endogeneity of the left dependent variable. Now, what is endogeneity? So, when the explanatory variable and the error term are correlated in a model, in that case, GMM model controls for endogeneity. Okay. Next is, Omitted variable bias. So, employing GMM model can control for omitted variable bias. That is, if you have omitted a significant variable from the regression model, then using GMM would control for the bias that has been caused due to omission of a significant variable. Okay. And GMM also deals with panel heterogeneity in the model. In the heterogeneous panel data model, the coefficients in the model differ for each cross section in the panel. So, if you have panel heterogeneity in the model, then also you can use generalized method of movement. Okay. And it also controls for measurement errors if any. Okay. So, next is what are GMM specifications? So, first one is the number of cross sections or groups, that is N, should be greater than the time period C. The second is GMM uses instrumental variables, that is the independent variables. And the instruments must be exogenous. And lastly, the number of instruments should be less than the number of cross sections. Okay, so the number of independent variables in your model should be less than the number of cross sections in order to run the GMM model. Now, the GMM model was originally proposed by Hansen in 1982. Okay, so like I said before, if the number of cross sections is greater than the time period and there is presence of endogeneity, heterogeneity, and autocorrelation in your model, and you want to estimate a dynamic panel model then you can proceed with generalized method of movement. Okay. Now, later on, there were two advancements in the generalized method of movement. The first one is the difference GMM proposed by Arilano Bond in 1991. The other one is system GMM proposed by Arilano and Bover in 1995 and Blundell and Bond in 1998. So, the difference GMM estimation transforms all the regressors usually by differencing 
and uses the GMM proposed by Henson, and hence it is called the difference GMM, right? Whereas the system GMM introduces more instruments to dramatically improve the efficiency and transforms the instruments to make them uncorrelated with the fixed effect. Okay, so this is all about the generalized methods of moving. So we have discussed what is GMM model, why GMM is used in panel estimation, what are its specification, and the two types of GMM. In the next video, I shall be explaining in detail the difference between the difference GMM and system GMM and how you can distinguish between the two and to decide which model to use for estimation. Okay, so if you haven't subscribed the channel, do subscribe and keep following the videos. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.